My, 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 you are a beautiful thing, aren't you? Federic's Pokemon Fire Red Walkthrough, part 36. Hello everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red. So I went back in the, uh, the Pokemon Mansion to catch all the Pokemon that I need for my Pokedex, you know, off screen, like I've been doing. And um, I saw a Weezing quite a few times. I thought, I'm going to catch this, and oh my god, all the self-destructs. I'm just going to add that to the pile of reasons why I hate Weezing. So we'll be back in a sec. Alrighty, so with our Pokemon all healed up and the secret key obtained from the Pokemon Mansion, we are now more than capable of entering uh, the Cinnabar Gym. However, I shall not be doing that this video. Basically, after you complete um, this gym, you get taken to, well, it's nowhere in Kanto, a completely different part of the game, uh, which you can't leave for quite a while. So I'm going to make sure I'm finished up in Kanto first. Now, one of the things I want to be doing is actually be catching yet another legendary Pokemon. And he's located off Route 10. If you remember, we came here much earlier on in the game uh, when we entered Rock Tunnel. So we can surf on down the back now that we have it. And right our back around here, there's a trainer there to fight, but I can't be bothered with him. And enter this place. This is the Power Plants. And he's full to bursting point of a ton of electric type Pokemon. And I'm going to quickly spray Repel, because I can't be bothered with them. And make our way forward, making fine things like uh, Volto, Pikachu, Electrode, Magnemite, I think even Magneton if you're lucky. And also, if you're playing Fire Red like me, you can catch uh, Electabuzz. Uh, sadly, it's not available on the screen, uh, but later on, you can catch Magmar um, in another part of the game if you're playing Leaf Green. Uh, whereas Fire Red can't. Anyway, TM17 there uh, protects. Uh, quite a nice move ish. Depends, it's kind of strategic or just douchey and also an elixir, which ain't too shabby. Now there's some items in here that aren't actually items, they're actually like disguised, they're Pokemon. Uh, and I think the first one is of here. Yeah, this isn't actually an item, this, this is a Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> so as you click it, you encounter an Electrode. Quite a high level as well, level 34. Now I don't have an Electrode for my Pokedex, so I'm just gonna, just gonna try and catch this thing, see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna paralyze it. What's the Electrode gonna do? Let's use Sonic Boom, 20 damage, nobody cares. A few quick attacks, should be fine. Oh, static, gotta love that. <laughs> yeah, when fighting Electric Pokemon, be prepared to just get paralysed all the time. I'm gonna try another quick attack. I don't think this knows uh, self-destruct, but actually it might do for all I know. Um, I'm gonna start throwing some Great Balls, because I don't think this is gonna be too difficult to catch. Come on. And I've also realised I've only got 17 Ultra Balls. Um, let's go. Ah, there we go, Volt Absorb, you gotta love that. That's Titan's ability. Whenever he gets hit by a, um, an actual attacking electrical attack, he gains some health, which is very nice. Click, boom, Electrode. Add that to the Pokedex, beautiful. And let's have a look at his information. Exploding response to even minor stimuli. It is feared of the nickname, the Bomb Ball. <laughs> Seriously, in the like, what, 15 years I've been playing Pokemon, no one has ever referred to an Electrode as the Bomb Ball. But alas, the Pokedex never lies. <laughs> uh, so we can finally make our way over yonder. Uh, there's a very nice TM over here. Well, it depends how you look at it. Let's spray another Repel. Not a great ball. There we go, we've got 20 Max Repels left. Like this, there's a TM25 Thunder. An insanely powerful electric attack but a bit inaccurate. I think it's about 70 or 75% accuracy. Can't remember, but it is very powerful. Now this one's definitely an item. This is a Thunderstorm for evolving either Eevee or Pikachu. And we've also got this. Now this is definitely a Pokemon. I'm just gonna kill it just to get some experience. Uh, so yeah, I'll skip it. Yeah, I actually just ran away from that Electro because uh, Titan was just constantly being paralyzed, which is never fun. Speaking of which, I'm just going to heal that, because I can't be bothered with it. I am so blind. Oh, there we go, Titan's all healed up. Beautiful. Okay, let's make our way further. No items or anything down here. Over yonder, and yeah, here we go. This is it. This is the second of the legendary bird trio. Now I'm just going to save the game. Obviously, make sure you save the game before encountering any legendary Pokemon. And let's give this a go. They all say gear, it's very strange. 
My, 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 you are a beautiful thing, aren't you? This is Zapdos. This is an electric and flying tap. Hands down, one of my favorite, one of my favorite legendaries, if not my all time favorite legendary. It's kind of on par with Entei. Now, just like Articuno, very powerful. Uh, let me just quickly try and remember his moves. I'm going to go for a Thunder Wave, obviously, to put the um, status on it. Uh, let's see, he knows Drill Peck. That's a very powerful flying type move. See, that was not very effective. Let's see how much damage it did. That was, that was crazy. Um, now, because he's flying, uh, he won't actually resist Thunderbolt, so that's what I'm going to go for first. See how much damage this does. Uh, let's see, shall we? That's not too bad. And he got paralyzed. Now, it also knows agility, which ups its speed, like our screen or did. Uh, I think it'll know Thunderbolt. I'm fairly certain it will know Thunderbolt, which is obviously very powerful. And there it goes with another drill peck. Not very fun. And critical hit kills Titan. Not fun at all, with Zapdos only being at half health. Now, what can I go to? Right, let me think about this. Alright, this, my friend, is incredibly risky. So risky, and I think you can guess what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be using Metronome, just to see what I can do. It could be anything. Water Spout. Water Spout? What? What, what move is that? Oh my. Water Spout. I'm guessing Baldine knows that or something? Who knows? Let's go for another Metronome. Oh, this is silly. This is so silly. Twin Needle. We resist that. And it'll do like bugger all. Okay. How can I put this down? As... <sighs> now you're paralyzing me. Synchronized would make it paralyzed. <laughs> but it already is. Uh, right. Both Psybeam and Psyche will kill it. Screw it, Metronome. You only live once. I just YOLO'd. I deserve to lose this fight. Come on, what are you going to do? Sand Tomb, and it doesn't affect it because it's a ground type move. Here we go again, Metronome. <laughs> I, I need to stress, this is not the best way in catching legendaries, not in the slightest. Ancient Power Rock type, that's going to kill it. Is it? Are you serious? It's still alive? Is it, and I got, I got all the stats. Is it still alive? Yes or no? I can't see. Is it still alive? Oh my god! That, that's crazy. Okay, now we can start throwing Ultra Balls. And we've even got the stat boost as well. This is perfect. This is a great position to be in. Ah, I just got to pray. I just got to pray that... Oh, someone's Detect. That's okay. So what moves have we got? Thunder Wave, Detect, Drill Peck. That's all I've seen you so far. And I'm guessing... Agility as well. So it doesn't know Thunderbolt. <laughs> you know. Unless we got called Paralyzed. Perfect. This is literally all I can do now. And obviously I'm going to stress right from the beginning, don't use your Master Ball or any of these uh, uh, flying legendaries, that would be silly. Oh, come on. What a troll. <sighs> Hate it when it takes right towards the very end and then breaks. It's just, oh, it just hurts my, hurts my face. Take. Uh, this is all I can do. I can't do anything else than just keep throwing Ultra Balls. Wow, that was a powerful drill peck. Alright, come on. Ultra Ball, here we go. This is the one, I can feel it. Tick. Oh, Thunder Wave, already paralyzed. I think the only way they can kill me is if it used another Drill Pack. I'm not seeing its third move, uh, fourth move yet. I still think it's agility, I really do. But I honestly don't know, I really don't know. So it's been Thunder Wave, Drill Pack, and Detect. That's all I've seen. Tick. Talk. Ah! Another from the wave. It really, really wants to make sure I'm paralyzed. Okay. Come on, Zapdos. You're my baby. You're my beauty. Oh! Another drill peck. That's hindsight dead. There's no way you can live that. Drill peck is a very powerful move. All right. What we got? What we got? Um. Weak to electric. Weak to flying. Weak to electric. Weak to flying. However, I've not seen an electric attack yet, so I'm just going to go for Zarek. Screw it. What's the worst that could happen, eh? This is, this is what I like to call Operation Pokemon Shield. It's where you put the, uh, the opposing Pokemon into catch range and just send your Pokemon out in front just to get just one after the other, killing them. Operation Pokemon Shield. Alright, come on, Ultra Ball, here we go. Tick. Talk. Tick. 
Beautiful! There we go, that is fantastic. And, yeah, nice one, nice one indeed. Right, let's read the information this time. One of the legendary Perth Bird Hop one. Well, that's fine. It makes crackling and snapping sounds. That is a very underwhelming description of such a legendary Pokemon. Uh, obviously, we don't give um, what they call nicknames to legendaries. Uh, so, yeah, that is beautiful. And here it is in a box of its own. Let's take a look at our new beautiful, beautiful Pokemon, Hasty Nature. Uh, Thunderwave, I was right, it did have agility, but never used it. So I didn't know Thunderbolt, that's very odd. And yeah, look at those stats. Uh, that's not too bad. Nice speed, nice special attack. Very nice, very, very nice. Good to have. Alrighty, Rue, so that is two of three legendaries got, which is beautiful. So we can now actually uh, make our way into Cinnabar Gym. Now, this is a fire type gym, led by Blaine. Mm. Now, uh, how we progress is basically we have a trainer here, if we talk to him, we just find him, <laughs> okay? I didn't think we'd find him straight away. Basically, there's a little switch or thing right next to him that you can answer a question, and if you get it right, you don't have to fight the trainer. But I want this XP, I really, really do. So obviously I've got Zarek up first, who's my beautiful water type, and he's going to be surfing. I said surfing, not body slam. The GameCube controller is very difficult to use. <laughs> I do apologise. Now he's going to go for a takedown, nobody cares. Yeah, a terrible amount of damage. And now go for a surf, like we meant to do. Uh, so yeah, Zarek is really going to shine in here. Seriously, he's going to like one hit KO practically everything. And he's going to gain a boatload of experience. But I did put the XP share on Gruffle. Uh, because he's grass type and won't be doing anything in here at all. To be honest, none of my Pokemon really will. It's just going to be Zarek's time. I've only just got him, and he's already shining. Seriously, Lapras is really, really good. It's just, it's so strong. And you don't need to evolve it or anything like that, you just get it, and it's good. So, yeah, especially with the uh, with the HM for Surf on it. I'm, I, oh, Confuse Rate, that is the only problem. I, I've just said Lapras is really good, and I, and I hold myself to that. There is just one, one flaw, as we've just seen. Lapras is quite slow which kind of sucks, and there's a lot of um, Fire-type Pokemon who are high on speed, like Ninetales as you saw. So I'm a little bit, well, frustrated, as Zarek keeps punching himself in the face, which nobody wants that. But obviously Zarek's taking the hits, because he's so bulky, he's got a ton of HP. Oh my god, are you serious? Three times in a row. This is beyond a joke. <laughs> Snap Tower, finally. Now let's see if this Surf one hit KOs this Ninetales. Let's have a look. Ooh, right about there. Alright, it's quick attack, fine. I was paranoid he was going to use um, Confuse Ray again, and <laughs> nobody wants that. And there we go, finally, that's down. Bunch of experience on Zarek, gets level 39. Fantastic. Uh, okay, Burgle Queen has been done. And there we see, the door opens, so I didn't actually have to do the, uh, the quiz. Um, do I have enough time? I probably don't have enough time for this one. No, I do, I do, I do. I'm just going to quickly take the XP share off Gruffle and give it to Pidgeot. So, it's the same to me. Give the XP share, and here we go. Please just don't have don't have many Pokemon, just like one or two. I can live with that. And we have Super Nerd Eric. Three Pokemon, three Surfs. We can do this. <laughs> and it's also good that I've got the move uh, Rain Dance as well that'll come in come in handy very much in the Blaine fight. There we are, that's gone down very easily. You're going to see a lot of Vulpixers, a lot of Growlithes and their evolutions. You're also going to see Ponitas and Rapidashes. Um, I think they might be a Magmar in here. I, no, is there? I, no, I don't think it is. I don't think there's a Magmar. So it's just uh, those little four-legged fire types. Now surf all the things. It's really good like how there's a fire type gym leader pretty much directly after you get the HM for surf. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh Ah oh, Confuse Ray really ah. Right, come on Zarek. Power for it. You just punch yourself three times, you can do it. Oh You see all that damage taken by Zarek? 80% of that damage is self-inflicted. It's so stupid. Confusion is like one of the most dumbest mechanics in any game ever. It's so frustrating. 
but we power through with a critical hit, and there we have it, St. Jimmy's 39, so everybody's leveling up. It's all grand. Now Super Nerd Eric Beaton, uh, this is where we're going to end. Uh, next video we're going to finish up this gym, and uh, fight Blaine, the fire type gym leader of Cinnabar Island. So I will see you next time. Bye! Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.